waters going for snakes. Uh, last time I was in this particular body of water, I noticed some clown knife fish. So I have a rod rig up for them. I've never caught one. Big jump there. But I have something set up for them just in case. So let's see if we can't get some fish. Stay tuned. Five, four, three, two, one. He hit and sounded a, a lot bigger than he is. Uh, he made some noise. Definitely likes his attention. You gotta respect these fish for the fighters they are. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, not big. So he hit hard. So we're gonna just gonna go. I was like, oh that's gonna be a big fish when he hit. Not. It's alright. I fished the hole one side. I ain't get anything. So I was wanting to be on the other side. But there's a lot more grass lines. So maybe that's what's going on. Wow. Wish I kept that one on.
Not very big, but a great fight. He went airborne a few times. Just, oh, I love these fish. Came off. That was fun. Huh. Interesting though, the hooks didn't turn. So it makes me wonder what that was. There we go. I think he's also got me hung up in this brush or he's off. No, he's on there. Yeah, he's actually under it. All right. See what's going on here. This might get a little hairy. American Snakehead Customs does it again. Not very big. Nice to get one in a boat. Felt a lot bigger because of that twig he took with him, but we gotta let him go. One thing to keep in mind when throwing these spinner baits for snakeheads, um, this spinner baits made specifically for snakeheads, that was a shot, is the fact that you're not gonna feel the vibration on these baits as you would your standard bass spinner baits. Standard bass spinner baits have a much lighter diameter wire. So you really get to feel the vibrations in your rod tip. When you're throwing gear for snakeheads, A, the spinnerbaits have a much heavier gauge wire. Uh, and it really absorbs a lot of that vibration. Now, why do you have the heavier gauge wire? It's so the bait maintains its shape as long as possible. Because even a mid 20 inch size snakehead will do a number on many spinnerbaits. If you're a bow hunter, many of you probably use a stabilizer, uh, which absorbs the vibration of the limbs and the bow itself during the shot. It takes all that vibration out, you know, helps keep the bow silent. Same thing with the heavier gauge wire. It absorbs a lot of the vibration of the baits. Uh, even if you're throwing a dual Colorado or dual turtleback bladed bait, you're not gonna feel it as much. And also you have to take into consideration you're using a heavier, um, action rod for snakeheads because if you get one over 30 you want that rod to have some backbone to pull it out of the, uh, the mess so just a little tidbit of information for you free of charge Ooh, that's a big iguana 
That is a big, beautiful iguana. That's a fully grown adult. This is an average fish. Um, again, this is not big at all. Uh, this is small, in my opinion, which is, again, don't get me wrong, I love fishing and I don't care what size they are. Um, they're just making a lot of ruckus for smaller fish. Yes, the real big ones, the dragons, as we call them, they, uh, you know, they pull the drag and your reel screams and then you hear gurgles of them when they're coming up right before they go back down underneath and but these little ones, they are really making a ruckus. Still fun though. Oh, wow. Broke me off. Mmm. This side, it's all rocky bottom underneath this grass. So that fish, he, uh, I just felt them come to a stop and pop, broke me off. He got me down those rocks and that was the end of it. But that's what makes fishing for these things so much fun. They just, uh, <laughs> they fight. These fish are no joke. celebrating but when we're done celebrating let's get rid of our balloons and throw them in the trash so they don't wind up in our waters please
told you we'd get him. <laughs> what do you say after a fish like that? But it's time to go, because uh, I tell you, I lost a couple like that today. I was definitely off my game. Again, it happens. That's part of fishing. Now, I'm not a professional angler, so I sometimes I get them on the first shot. Today I lost a couple. I think I had my drag a little too loose, but it's okay. Uh, no clown knives today, but that's okay. It'll happen one day. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but the snake heads were very cooperative today. Great to get out after a busy holiday week. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. So. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Help an old dude out. I'm the Florida Bass Paddler, guys. Thanks for watching. Tight lines. I'll see you on the water.